Well, most of the film you're going to study is is the scheme, you know, and so um, I think we have a good idea. It's it's a new year, so regardless of where he's coming from or a new a new job, there's always wrinkles here and there. So you're always kind of expecting um, a new thing or two. But uh, you know, most of the, most of the film is, is scheme, but but you want to get a handle on the personnel too. So um, you know, a little bit of both. It's you do have the off season to dig into a little bit more, so that helps. But uh, um, you know they're they're gonna they're gonna line up and play fundamental football and and get good at what they do. That's that's at least what what we've seen um, in the past from from this system. So um, you know it's gonna be the same for us. Just being able to get up and play sound football, take care of the ball, and and go and go play hard, cut them loose. What's your impression of their personnel? Oh, they're talented. I mean, they're 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 always talented. Um, you know, they're gonna be able to run. They're gonna have some. Really big physical guys. Um, you know, I would expect them to have some, some, some guys up front that, that can give you problems off the edge, and and um, you know, just just overall speed and talent. You know, I, I think you know we, we know what kind of guys they, they recruit every year, and um, so it'll be it'll be a big challenge. Coach um, Coach Fuente earlier mentioned that he wants to see the running game's overall efficiency improve. What have you seen from those running backs, and do you feel you have the backfield to? take the next step in terms of your overall efficiency running the football? Yeah, I think we do. And it, it's not just them. You know, it's it's nice to have um, really three guys back that, that uh, took a lot of carries last year. Um, so it, it's it's a, but it's a group effort. You know, it's it's the offensive line. It's the tight ends. Um, you know, we're, we're on the quarterbacks a little bit. And, and our receivers play a big role, you know, whether they're carrying the ball or blocking on the perimeter. So it's it's a. You know, it's not just one position or one player. It's it's certainly a group effort that we've got to continue to get better at. Coach, you're in the back. What can you expect from a guy like Coleman Fox this season? May he kind of impact last year, but what can you expect this year from him? Well, he's he's a versatile guy. You know, I think he's a guy that uh, that we all trust that um, can give us um, kind of a personnel um, type matchup that uh, he can he can line up just about anywhere. So. Um, you know, got a number of guys that uh, that are kind of in that in that position that that we got to find a way to um, use them and, uh, and 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 get them in the right spots. With Josh, where uh, Jackson, where have you seen his game now? Kind of at you know fall camp's over, one week to go. Uh, technical improvements he's made. How far has he come, kind of uh, from spring to fall, and where have you kind of seen him make those uh, improvements in his game? Well, he's become more aggressive. That's the one thing we talked about. You know, he's he's a, as a freshman really took care of the ball well. Um, just his composure, his ability to manage the game as a as a freshman was really incredible. Um, but there was plays out there to be made that that uh, that he can make. And so, um, you know, just being a step ahead of the game, uh, getting the ball out quicker at times, anticipating windows, being a little bit more aggressive at times. Um, is something that we've really talked about that that he's really improved and, and had a good camp and uh, hopefully we'll see some of the, some of those things this fall. A couple more. Obviously, a, a big game. Obviously, um, with all these young guys, how do you get them ready for this environment down in Tallahassee? It's a very cliche question. Obviously, you can pipe noise into the practice facility, but is there anything else you can do besides that? And if so, how have these young offensive players been responding to it? Oh, good. I mean, I, th I think that's probably about all you can do. You know, the noise will be a, fra a factor. So making sure we can execute, communicate, um, line up, get, get, get the ball snapped, you know, that's, that's the, usually about the extent you can do. Um, so it'll be, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a new experience for some of the guys. Some of the guys have been through it before, but um, it's the first game that goes along with the two. Guys put a lot of hard work. Um, you know, they'll be excited and, and, Making sure we, we stay composed to go execute will be, be important for us. Going back to what Michael was asking with Josh, with him being back and a returner, is there a different level of kind of two-way input that you get from him, or is he still a year away from that? In other words, can he bring more back from the practice field to the game field and say, here's what I'm seeing, or is he a year away from that? Yeah, no, he's, he's, he's probably well ahead of his years too, so um, there's going to be a lot of that. You know, there already has been. Um, you know, and, and I think as the as the year goes along, um, you know, so far through spring and fall camp, it's just us against our defense, and and um, you know, so once we get into the season week to week, um, 
he's going to be able to add add his input on what he sees on the opponents and looking forward to that you know he's 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 really a sharp kid and and cares and understands the game and um, that's what you want you know him him feeling comfortable with what he's seeing and what he likes is 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 what you want you know we we want to know those things and put him in those positions last one Andy. When you guys got here, you had Stephen Peoples playing H back, essentially moving to running back. How have you sort of seen him evolved over the years, and how do you look at him as a player? It sounds like he doesn't say much, <laughs> and the coaches might like that sometimes. Yeah, he's he's uh, we're excited about him. You know, he's one of the more explosive kids we have. Um, he's a really strong, quick athlete, powerful athlete, um, and does whatever it takes. I mean, we'll block, we'll. Uh, run the ball, catch the ball. He's a talented kid. He's versatile. So excited for him and, and, a, and a great season. You know, he was banged up a little bit last year. But um, I just know when, when we hand the ball off to him, good things usually happen. And he's one of those guys that can turn a one-yard gain into a six-yard gain just, just because of his strength and his power.